What's going on, everybody? It's me, Derek Furlow Jr., speaker, author, and entrepreneur, author of the book, What's Next? How to Transition Like a Champion. And look, I ain't got a lot of time, but I was just thinking. I figured I would come to y'all. It crossed my mind. It made sense to me. So I figured I'd come give it to you. Maybe it'll make sense to you. Maybe it'll help you where you at. I'm not really sure. But if it can benefit you, I might as well give it to you. And this one right here is talking about the biggest transition killer, which just so happens to be the ego. Because we all got them. And that ego will it'll help you, but it'll hurt you at the same time. So you got to be careful. And um, when it comes down to it, fellas, I'm going to have to touch on it. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to come at you just a little bit. I'm going to help you out, though. It's going to be some tough love. Tough love. Um, but when it comes down to it, I found that the trans, the ego can kill you in transition, whether it's in sports, whether it's in life, or whether it's in business. And when it comes down to the sports perspective, playing football, and if you've been an athlete, you know you got this particular ego about you that you're the, that you're the best, right? Like, yeah, whatever sport you play, you that girl or you that guy nobody can touch you nobody can stop you and especially earlier in life when you're in high school you balling you're doing your thing you're dominating and people feed into it and help pump up your ego well then all of a sudden you go to college and you're playing with people that's just as good as you but when you go in you know you might even be the first time you meet everybody you don't even speak to everybody because you're sizing everybody up because you the ego you know you're trying to say oh he all right she all right now nah, i'm better than him better than her right and you got this ego and feeling like you're the best and nobody can touch you, nobody can stop you, which is good to have. You got to have it. The only reason you're going to play at that level. But most of the time, you have the ego until you get embarrassed or like and you had an ego until you get beat. You had an ego until you realize maybe you not like where you need to be. Maybe there are some people that are more talented than you. Maybe you do got to go work on your game. Maybe you do need to sharpen up your craft. So until you get humble, the ego normally drives you until you get to that point or it, it help you until you get to that point that it hurts you and it starts to move you backwards and you realize okay you got to make some adjustments you got to do those things that's going to get you bigger get you to the next level of your sports career well that same ego that helped you in sports and hurt you in sports it's also going to be that same ego that going to hurt you in life or help you in life and this particular part of life right here we're talking about i want to talk about some relationships because guys we do this all the time i don't necessarily do this no more because i'm married so it don't make no difference to me however if you're not aware of you still can't do it. So we're going to talk about new relationships, for, for, for example. When you transition into a new relationship, most guys got the ego of being either they're going to tell them everything they want to hear, they got all the answers to the questions, they not like the last guy, all these subtle things that are making the girl the female feel all warm fuzzy lovey-dovey and the guy make these big promises make talk this big talk however deep down fellas you putting yourself out there on this bridge on this limb and you might not even really be ready, ready to commit to some of the stuff you say you're gonna do man so my question is why even do it why even set yourself up why even set the relationship up to start off with you backtracking on some things that you said when you really didn't even have to say it in the first place. If you weren't ready to commit, if you weren't ready to do it, don't say it. That's that ego again. That ego of you being the biggest, toughest, fastest, bad, strongest. So you up here speaking stuff that you ain't even really ready to commit to because deep down, you nervous, you scared, you like, I don't know, she might be crazy. But in the end, go, she look good, so you're going to say this, you're going to say that, you're going to say all the stuff she want to hear so you don't lose on the front end of the situation, but on the back end of the situation, when you have to backtrack, when you have to give yourself a little wiggle room because you ain't really ready to commit, you ain't really ready to do what you said you was going to do, it becomes unnecessary. Like, you set yourself up because of the ego. Let the ego go. And that new relationship, look, man, you ain't got to be the end-all, be-all. You don't got all the answers to the problems. You ain't got to be Mr. Mr. Sweet Nothing. You just let it fold out, let it play out how it need to play out. You, you, you don't have to solve all the problems. Now, females, if you want a guy that's going to solve all the problems and be in the end, I'll be all and let you know all this up on the front end, and that's what you drawing out of the guy, then be prepared to be disappointed. Because at some point down the road, 
he might not be fully prepared or committed, especially depending on how early that thing is, to, 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 to really act on those things. It just sounds good. So um, I'm going to just throw that one on out there. What up, Bridges? I'm just throw that one on out there. I'm, I'm going to let y'all have that one, but I just want to let you know, fellas, you got to let the ego go. Because sometimes we put ourselves in a situation you really don't even have to be in because we're too busy talking stuff, saying stuff that sound good, look good, but deep down, we ain't really ready to even do it. But she look pretty. But she look bad. So come on, fellas. Look, let the ego go. So you see what the ego do to you in sports. You see what the ego do to you in a real-life new relationship. And lastly, we're going to get into business because this ego right here will hurt you in business, man. And um, especially when you're coming out of any particular background where you're used to being that guy, that girl, and you've been in charge and you've been balling and you get into a new role, a new opportunity. And let's say you never really had to earn it. For example, you meet a guy, he got an idea, you got an idea, and y'all happen to partner on some stuff. He's older than you, so technically he's going to mentor you through this, right? But... He done been through the mud and back and figured it out. You just so happen catch him at the right time and the partnership makes sense. So y'all start partnering on some stuff and he got all this knowledge and experience. But as y'all coming to the table to work on the opportunities, you miss that know-it-all. I think this, I think that. You don't use your ears. You trying to get this guy on advice and he been doing this thing 20 years before you even been alive. That's that ego again. This is what you're trying to do more than what you are actually capable of doing just because it make you look good, sound good, but really you ain't approved. Now you ain't got no track record. You ain't got no history. You ain't got no greasy knees or, 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 or bumped elbows. So that ego of you being at this this this, this peak performer or, or being on this pedestal as an athlete betraying you again because now you're putting your business relationship in a tough spot because now you're saying this, saying this, but ain't performing, ain't producing, and the mentor are seeing, is seeing your potential and what you're capable of. However, he's saying you do more talking than you do in action, and now it's starting to draw some type of, or create some type of friction because the talk is bigger than the work. So, for the athlete, for anybody that's transitioning, whatever level you're coming from, when you get to that new phase, when you're transitioning, whether it's a new relationship or a new business, be aware of the ego. Look, the ego is good to have because it's going to get you there. It's going to make you push. It's going to make you drive. It's going to make you want to be the best. However, when you get in that situation, you got to realize if you don't adjust the ego and pay attention to what the ego, how the ego can hurt you, the ego will hurt you. So you got to understand that, look, just because you're in a new situation, you don't have to be the end all, be all. You don't have to have all the answers to the questions. You don't have to have all, 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 the, all the codes to the safe. All you got to do is be good at what you're doing, be open to listening, growing, and getting better, and be humble all in the process, and it'll work out. But having that ego think you know it all, you got all the answers to the questions, and that you got to have it all figured out right now, that's going to hurt you in the long run. And that's normally the biggest problem with the transition. The ego gets in your way and hinders you from growing, it hinders you from learning, it hinders you from realizing that there are some things that you can get better at. There are some things that you can learn from other people. There are some things that if you make this little adjustment to, it can help you scale, grow faster. So just be aware of what the ego can do to you because it's either doing two things to you at all times. It's either helping you or it's hurting you. And most of the time, we're so caught up in our ego, we don't know what it's doing to us. We're so caught up in our ego, we don't know if it's beneficial or detrimental. We're so caught up in our ego, we don't even think about what our ego doing for us. So I was just thinking about that earlier. The ego is one of the biggest problems when it comes down to the transition. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, whatever transition you're making, just be aware of the ego. Is it helping you? Is it hurting you? Have you even bothered to, 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 to take a look at the ego? Are you around people that you can learn from? Are you doing more talking than you're doing listening? Because you got two ears, one mouth for a reason. So be aware of the ego. If you're in a new relationship, are you trying to make everything perfect on the front end when it necessarily don't have to be? When you can just be you and it'll all work out anyway? Are you are you promising the stars, promising the moon, but ain't delivering nothing? Like, stop making promises you can't keep. That's the part of the ego you got to let go. So I just want to come give y'all that knowledge because... Uh, I know when it comes down to their ego, it can either be beneficial or detrimental, but most of the time we never take the time to process and realize what our ego is doing to us and what our ego is doing for us or what our ego is doing around us and how our ego is even affecting our situation. 
So for those out there that's in transition, whether it's in sports, whether it's in new relationships, whether it's in new career paths, new jobs, new opportunities, assess the ego. Know if it's been beneficial to you or detrimental to you. And look, I just want to come drop that knowledge to you. I was thinking about it earlier. I know the, the ego can help you or can harm you. So I just want to share those words of wisdom to you. And if you know anybody that got some ego complexes, tag them in it. If you know anybody that probably need to hear this, tag them in it. Or if you say, hey, this might have been right down my alley, you're welcome. I appreciate you for tuning in. I just wanted to come share some nuts that came across my mind. I'm always thinking about how I can make sure I don't get in my own way and get into people's ways that's around me. So I figured I'd share that with you in the middle of your transition. So in the meantime, in between time, look, you go do what you do. I just look forward to helping you transition like a champion.